What's up everybody? Welcome back to day five in our Christmas week holiday beer review. Today we are looking at a beer from Great Lakes Brewing and they are out of Cleveland, Ohio. This is their barrel aged Christmas ale. Uh, it says it is a ale with spices and honey aged in bourbon barrels. Clocks in at 8% ABV, 30 IBUs. There is no canned on date on this, but it does have 2023 stamped on the bottom of it, so I know it's this year's. Uh, I've had the regular Christmas ale from Great Lakes many times, but this is the first time that I've had the barrel aged version, so really looking forward to jumping into this one and seeing what it has to offer. Yeah, pours that kind of amber, mahogany kind of color there. It's got a nice finger's worth of slightly off-white head. Completely, you can see completely through that beer. Nice amount of uh, carbs, carbonation coming up. From the bottom of that looks like a really good beer i like the color kind of has that like christmas red kind of color coming off down here especially down in the little little lip guy heads dissipating pretty quickly let's get a nose in Very faint barrel presence going on on this. A slight maltiness as well. I'm not picking up any like specific spice coming off of the aroma. Yeah, not picking up a lot of spices or anything. Oh, just a little bit of a barrel, some maltiness coming in. Diving in. Cheers. Not getting much barrel out of this guy. Um, there is a little bit of a oaky finish to it. Right up front, you're kind of hit with that like little honey sweetness. Um, and then kind of comes in a, a little bit of like of a fruitiness mixed with like um, some cinnamon going on in there. Very, very faint underlying of vanilla, kind of just playing, playing way back in the background there. But you can pick it up just a little bit, kind of last throughout, but it's way far off. Yeah, the barrel characteristics on this are really muted. Um, I'm not picking up much barrel characteristics at all, except for in the very end, there is a slight, like, oaky kind of tannin thing going on there kind of like leaves it with a little bit of a dry finish kind of gives me like a little bit of like notes of kind of like a fruit cake maybe because there is like a little bit of a like a malty brightiness kind of to this beer Along with that like fruitiness and that kind of like cinnamon spice with kind of like a little honey drizzle sweetness going on through it. Definitely interesting beer. Um, honestly, 
I was hoping for a little bit more from this beer. I wish those uh, barrel characteristics were a little more present. Um, I wish the spices were a little bit more present as well. Uh, overall, it's it's a, it's an okay beer. Um, for seven ninety nine a can, I was hoping if it says like it's barrel aged, I, I want the barrel I want the barrel aging to come through on this beer. Um, I really do like their uh, their base, their regular Christmas ale, and I had high hopes for this one, but it's just a little bit of a letdown in my opinion. Nothing off-putting about it at all. It's just, I just wish there was more to it. A touch under medium body. Fair amount of carbonation going on in this guy. Yeah. Just wish there was a little bit more of kind of everything on this beer. More spice, more barrel. Decent enough though, decent enough for me to to finish for, to finish the can, but honestly, a little bit of a letdown, um, in my opinion. Um, I wish it just delivered on pretty much everything that it says that it has to offer, a little bit more than it does. Um, I don't know what that fruit note is either, but it's interesting for sure. Yeah. Without a doubt, I'm going to go enjoy the rest of it for sure. And I hope you find one to enjoy as well. And I hope to see you back tomorrow, day six, in our holiday beer reviews. Till then, cheers.